Today we're looking at a Kubota D722 engine out of a Bobcat MT52 mini track loader. I bought the machine on auction knowing that it didn't work. Uh, turned out it had low compression in two cylinders. Uh, took it apart, found the piston ring lands were broken in all three pistons. So replaced the pistons, the bores were all good, everything looked good otherwise. Got it back together. When I ran it, it went to wide open throttle and got stuck there. I wasn't able to kill the motor. And I also noticed that there was no fuel going to the middle cylinder. So we're going to open this up and take a look and see what we can find. I had read that the fuel rack can get stuck, uh, which I'm hoping is what it is. And I'm going to see if we can get it unstuck. The other thing I noticed it when I, uh, this is supposed to kill it, but it didn't. Um, but I noticed now that it's, I don't think it has the full range of motion here. You can see the set screw. It should be going against that, but it's not moving all the way up to that screw. So I think I think the range of motion there is limited by something. And so hopefully we can open it up and see if we can loosen that up without taking everything apart or, or finding a, a more serious problem with the fuel pump. Okay, so there's some springs. And some linkages attached here and I've read that if you're not careful and you drop the springs down into there uh, you can have to take the timing cover off the front of the engine so I'm going to try and avoid that all right so you can see that linkage in there I got to get that spring off uh, that's off the throttle plate and then the killing one that is now free full range of motion so I'll have to once we get this apart, we'll see what, what that was stuck up against and if that's a problem. So this, this right here is the fuel rack piece. Let's see if I can back it off. No. No, not easily anyways. I may have to take the pump out and, and see what's up here. I did manage to get it to free up. Uh, it took a bit of persuasion, but now it seems to be free to move. Uh, certainly, certainly less force than it would take those springs to overcome. So uh, hopefully, hopefully that's it. It's just a matter of breaking it loose. All right, that fuel rack is actually is still sticking it, it breaks loose but if i turn the engine over a bit and fiddle with it more then it goes tight again and it's uh, very difficult to break it loose again so something's still sticking uh it's probably on the injection pump so i'm going to go ahead and start taking that off uh see if i can pull that out and maybe it needs a rebuild Oh yeah, I'm guessing that's the rock. It goes, yeah, it was tight and it goes loose. So I had in cylinder one, that feels good. Spring feels good, action feels good. Cylinder three, it feels kind of weak, but something's happening. And then in the middle cylinder where I wasn't getting any fuel, uh, the spring is, maybe the spring's broken. Uh, nothing's happening, it, it just jiggles loose there. And I think I might have figured out why the rack, the fuel rack here was getting stuck. Um, I noticed that um, when I move any of these, the rack is not affected. When this one's pushed up, the rack actually gets stuck. So that's probably why the rack kept getting stuck. Um, but let's take it apart and 
we'll see what we find. Yep, there we go. So broken springs in cylinders two and three. That's not a surprise at all. Cylinder one looks good as expected. So I decided I will try opening up the, the top end here. So I actually got everything fully out here, the, uh, the plungers and uh, cylinders. And there is actually some muck here that's worth cleaning out. So I, I'm going to go ahead and take all these parts out and put them in the parts washer. And I need new springs and then we'll put it all back together. Most of the scum in here looks like it's rust from the broken springs. That's really where most of the dirt's coming from. It doesn't seem to have gotten into the delivery valves and the plungers and everything, but just... I guess the outer parts of the working mechanism, it'll be good to get those cleaned up and make sure they don't get sticky or gummed up in the future. So the plunger on cylinders one and three, the action was just really nice. On cylinder two, it's a little tight, it's a little sticky. Just feels like a little bit too much friction, definitely compared to the others. I'm going to try putting a little bit of polish on and see if I can clean that up a bit. Yeah, that's made a big difference. Big, big difference. All right. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're clear. That's great. I get that cleaned up and I, I think the plunger's good. Just had some deposits in there. Definitely needed to get unstuck though. So I went ahead and got three new springs for the injection pump here. Here's the part number and let's get them put in. So for reassembly, we're going to start with these two pieces. This pin goes forward for the fuel rack and then you got the upper spring seat. We'll drop them in there with the yep, pin facing forward. All right, pin, pins at the front there. And now see that uh, rectangular kind of shape that needs to match with the plunger here. But there's two ways that it could go. You got to put it the way with this helix facing the back. So there's a relief port in the barrel that's on the back side here. And so this that helix shape needs to face that way. So we've got to put it in like that. Now you got to be careful here for the next steps that that lines up exactly but it's not slid all the way down because you still need to have it out enough to get the next pieces on so we're going to get the new new spring slide that in 
and the lower spring seat. We'll slip that on there. And then we put together the, the rollers, uh, cam roller piece. So put those and I put some new motor oil on those. And we're gonna slip that together without turning the plunger so it all lines up. I can feel it's actually, it's not lined up. So I'm gonna have to try again here. And there we go, got it lined up. That's feeling good. And so last, we'll just get this retaining pin in. There we go. Okay. All good. And we'll do the other three. Um, two of which had broken springs before, so we've got three all new springs. All right, all three put back together. They all feel great now. So I think that's fixed. Let me get this strap on here next. That's the retainer. Hold all that together. And then last, we get this fuel rack on. Yeah, we got all these screws on, and then we should be back together. So it's all back together now. Uh, everything went fine with this. I didn't think anything was too difficult uh, or scary to get into um, my first time. And... Uh, I got to get it back together now and hopefully it runs right. So to get the fuel pump put back in, I noticed it was easiest with the cam lobes, the middle one raised, find a point where only that one's up. Uh, it's easier to push the pump down onto the base and get the fasteners done up. And you got to make sure the fuel rack pin lines up here with this linkage as you drop it down into place. And the torque spec on this is 17 to 20 foot pounds. Okay, so I got that one spring on without dropping it. And the fuel rack has nice good action now. Spring return, all back to normal. And I just need to get this one one last spring hooked back on to the uh, actuator lever on the the top assembly here that's going to go back on next all right so now it's back together and <clears throat> that has good action i can feel it moving the the rack uh, to kill the engine
beauty. Well, I'm gonna call that fixed and working. Next is to get this back in the machine and hope it all works. Thanks for watching.